Hey guys, Siam here. I'm the Technical Solutions Coordinator here at Super Analytics. So today I'm going to talk about analytics. So while working in a project, you might have some questions like, how much work has been done on my project? How many guys are working on my project? When was the last time someone worked on my project? Or you might have a question like, what does my class distribution look like? Can I have all the data in my hands from the platform? To answer your questions, yes, you can. You can have all of these from our analytics section. When you go inside a project, this is a dummy project, you would see that there is a section called analytics. If you go inside, you can have answer to all of your those questions. Suppose the total number of items, the total of active users, which represent the number of users working in the project. The last work, the last date when uh, some work had been done in the project and when was the project created. And here in the item status section, it can give you an update about how much work that has been done till that point in your project. You already know we have different status in the items like quality, check, return, in progress, not started, and et cetera, et cetera. So you can have a clear idea here. You can see out of 4,434 items, like 4,000 are completed and 377 are skipped. And you can have a percentage here too. And on the right-hand section, you have a clear idea about what's the total number of instances in the completed items. So you can have that number here. You can also have the number of hours spent on a different role. In this dummy project, we didn't have any QAs or annotators. The admins mostly worked on here. So you can see the admin hours spent here is 52.6 hours. But if there were QAs or annotators, you would have seen some hours here as well. As we go down, you can have the same data, like role-wise, you can sort it out and you can see the names of the person working in different roles as well. If we go down, you can see you have a section called classes, which can give you an overview about the distribution of classes inside the project. So suppose in this dummy project, you can see the, the number of plastic bottles in the completed instances is 2995, which takes about 62.6% .6 of the completed instances. So this can give you a clear overview of the class distribution inside your data. If your classes have attributes, you can have, have that as well. You can find it just like the classes section here below in the attributes section. And that can give you an overview about the distribution of attributes in the completed section. And you can have all this data in a beautiful CSV format, which you can download here with the help of this download CSV button. And also you can clearly sort this data on the basis of roles too. You have annotators, QAs, and admins. You can like sort them in the basis of roles as well. Thank you for staying with us. Please subscribe to our channel and see you soon.